Boom. Boom. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get into it. Yeah. Pulling up. No for rallies. Me and my girls, we have been out in foreign days. Prime time. What's up, pretty girl gang? It's Princess Leia, and I'm coming back to you with another hair review slash install. And today's hair is brought to you from West Kiss Hair. And as you guys can see right now, I am doing my ball cap. And the way I do my ball cap is very simple. I just use a, uh, what do you call those little stick things? Um, those popsicle sticks. I use a, like a nude hair cap. And then I use my hair glue from boho active and yeah i don't know who i'm talking to i'm probably on the phone child so yeah so y'all enjoy this video i'm gonna be talking in and out just to let y'all know exactly what i'm doing step by step i decided to do this video a little bit more in depth because usually i just give y'all you know quick videos but i hope y'all enjoy it so girl we gotta blow dry that cap down Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And the reason why I like using glue better than just hairspray is because I feel like, you know, when you sweat in the head or if you go outside a lot or if you are active, you know, your lace and your cap is going to lift. Or the reason why your lace does lift is because your cap is lifting underneath. So you want to make sure your cap underneath is solid and it ain't going nowhere. You want to make sure that cap, it don't move. And also focus a lot on the ear tab part because that be the side that want to prickle up the most. Y'all know that them sides be trying to come up. The first thing that be trying to come up be them sides. So now I'm taking my makeup and I am matching it to my skin tone. Y'all got to get some more of this. This is from the, I think this is from the Morph palette. And it's a contour palette from Morph. And I'm using my Morph brush. It really don't matter what kind of brush you use for real. Just make sure you get it in there and it matches your skin complexion. And try to go a little bit ahead of the glue. Usually that's what I try to do because when you cut it, you won't have any like white lines where it ends at, if that makes any sense. So yeah, press that in. Get it in there, girl. Get it in there. I don't know why I look so mean, child. I look mean and focused. Here we go again, blow drying just to make sure that that glue is dry. Cause you don't want to start cutting and then the cap start coming up. Girl, y'all know the struggles of trying to get this ball cap down. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so now I'm cutting my ball cap off or cut in the parts that need to be cut off trying to get as close as possible getting all of those straggly edges off 
And now I'm gonna cut my ear tabs. I usually like to cut these last just so that they can have more time to dry and set in. I focus a lot on this y'all because I just like my foundation to be perfect because when you get this ball cap down everything else is just gonna lay so flawlessly so the way that I like do mine in the back I split it into two pieces and then I tie it and then I just kind of let that out now in the back I did leave some hair out because for this particular hair I went on a trip and I wanted to be able to pull my hair up into a ponytail and things like that. So I did leave some hair out in the back. So that's what you guys are seeing in the back back there. And that's actually not how short my hair is. My hair is actually longer than that. So I don't know why it looks so short, but yeah. And so I'm making sure that I'm covering all of the white lines that are left with after cutting the ball cap. And now I'm about to take a wet wipe, or this is actually a um, baby wipe, and I'm just cleaning off the any type of makeup that might be on my skin. I want to make sure that my skin is clean just because if it's not, the glue will not stick or the lace will not stick to your skin. So, yeah, make sure y'all clean that all up. And then I'm using Erica J's Hold Me Down. This is a adhesive spray. So it actually works really, really good. It just really helps get the wig down even more. And it smells so good. Every time I put this on my clients, they be like, oh my God, what is that? That smells so good. And here she is, you guys. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. This is the Loose Deep and 30 inches from West Kiss. And it is so beautiful, y'all. But I'm also matching my makeup to the lace on the wig. Make sure you guys always do that. And it is a HD lace, 13 by four, I believe. I'm showing y'all how I'm actually putting the makeup all over the lace and the inside of the wig.
And so I'm just going to put this on my head to measure it and make sure I want, you know, put it where I want it to lay. And I've already plucked the knots. I bleached it as well. Now, one thing about me, y'all, I don't like to pluck too much on my first install when I first install new hair. Because I usually like to do that as I go. Because y'all know with, you know, wearing the wig more and more and more, naturally your hair is going to shed or the wig hair is going to shed. So I let it kind of just do that naturally. And then however I feel like, you know, the next time I do my install, I might want to plug more, I plug more. But if you do that the first time, if you pluck too much the first time, you're not going to get much use out of your wig. Especially if you bought a wig and it's expensive, you want to make sure you get the most out of that wig unit. So the best way to do that is to not pluck so much the first time, but still get your natural hairline, still get your, you know, still make sure you put your pluck game on, but don't do too much. Because once you start, and once that thing start balding, girl, you're going to be upset. So right now I'm cutting off, um, I don't think I'm cutting off my ear tabs right here. I'm just making a cut inside of the wig to make sure that my ear is out but I didn't cut any lace off on this part. So I'm measuring it again. And as you guys can see how my ear fits right over it, or it fits right over my ear. I didn't cut any lace. So I'm just making show, girl. And I'm about to do the same thing on the other side. So we're about to make that indent on this side as well. Right where it would come over my ear. Oh, so maybe I did cut lace. What did I do right there, y'all? I don't even remember. Okay, so let's see. And she is perfect. Now we about to glue her down, glue her down. And of course, I always use my Boho Active Glue. Y'all comment below if y'all have any other glue suggestions. So far, Boho Active has been so good to me, but I'm always open to trying new glues. I know my homegirl just released her new glue line, so I cannot wait to try it. I will definitely be doing a review on my channel whenever I get it in the mail. Now, one thing about this particular glue that I got, and, it, and Boho isn't always like this, but I guess it just was the batch. I don't know. But it was very, very runny. And it was good and bad. The bad part about it is I had to hurry up and make sure I got the glue spread it. But the good thing is it didn't take long to dry because it was really, really thin. Um, but I had never got any glue like this from Boho. They're always like thick or not too thick, but you know, the consistency is not runny. But this time, I don't know, this glue was just getting everywhere, y'all. So I had to do a little bit at a time and just work with it. And you want to do thin layers because it also helps with the drying process. Plus, you don't want clumpy layers of glue because it will make your install look horrible and as you guys can see before i even turned the dryer on my line of glue was already starting to turn clear and it didn't take much for me to dry it but you usually want to make sure that you dry it anyways just to clear all that up
My eyelashes are blowing. And y'all, I do prefer to use these popsicle sticks because they're flat. And then too, you know, you can always use the, the end of the edge brushes. But I just find the popsicle sticks, it can get more like, it's more coverage, if that makes sense, because they're wide. So I feel like I can just get more done. I can get more spread out of it. So as y'all can see, I'm doing really, really tiny dots because this stuff is very thin and runny. It's weird because I, I don't know, like I learn in my own unique way how to do things my own way. Because I know a lot of girls, they when they do their installs, they push it back. When they do their glue and they apply the glue, they push it back for some reason. But I feel like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that because I feel like it's pushing the ball cap back. Like, you don't want to apply that kind of pressure to the ball cap. The whole purpose is to get the ball cap to stay down and to melt it down with the ball cap. So I make sure when I do my wig and I do my glue application, I push it forward or I go to the side. I don't never push it back. Comment below how you do yours because I would love to know. Can we get into these lashes though? Hold up. <laughs> Shout out to my girl Allie at the Beauty Mark 419. Y'all make sure y'all go book with her. My girl's doing a special on lashes this month. She does an amazing job. I love like y'all. I used to get my minks done a lot when I first moved to Houston. And, you know, they always had to grow on me. Like, I never really actually liked getting my lashes done. Because, I don't know, they just always had a certain look to them that I didn't like. But my girl, Allie, re really, really did her big one with my lashes, y'all. And they lasted me so long, y'all. I had went to Dominican Republic. I got them wet. I went swimming. Then I came back a couple of weeks later. And they were still, like, there. Like, I ain't gonna cap. They lasted me a good month and a half almost two months probably So we just applied our second layer. This part always makes me so relaxed and sleepy. Yes, 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 yes. What y'all think I'm singing? 
<laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking right now. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down. Get her set in. I always get nervous on these parts, y'all. And I'm learning new ways to do this each time. to put my elastic band over it to start the melting process and the reason why I say process because melting your lace is definitely a process it's gonna take me a few times to actually get this down and get this melted in the way that I want it I just love these lashes y'all I gotta set me an appointment real soon. And I did apply some makeup to the lace as well. I'm not exactly sure what happened right there, but we'll figure it out, y'all. So now I'm applying some spritz. to the hairline. And we're gonna lay her down again. I be looking so focused, y'all, and mean. Who am I texting? Like, I'm blow drying it.
and taking her off. Ooh, it's giving scalp. Okay. Girl, not my elbow, elbows being ashy. But yes, look at that. You see how the hairline looks natural, but it's not too plucked? So now I'm getting ready to cut the lace, y'all. And I don't know where my razors were. Usually I like to cut with a razor. But I don't know where my razors were. So I'm over here looking for them right now. Gotta use the scissors. So, y'all can't see me cutting it because I'm looking in the mirror and I'm really trying to focus and get it cut precisely. So, you guys won't probably see this part the way y'all should. And I apologize for that. <laughs> When I cut, I never cut in a straight line. I always zigzag my scissors. So because I don't have a razor, that's basically the technique that I have to use to kind of generate that natural hairline look. So boom. She is gorgeous. Like, oh my god. I love this wig. So now I'm going to take a popsicle stick and some got to be holding spray. And I'm just going to go over my that lace to make sure that it's melted in for show, for show, for show. down again baby because y'all told y'all now this is a process melting is a process you want to do this at least three or four times depending on the look that you're going for listen to my new honest accent kicking in y'all anyway here i go again boom Home. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get into it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Don't play with her. Look how beautiful them curls is, though. So now we about to pull out these edges, y'all. Mm. 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 
shit, I'm best, that's why I'm the new blood. Mama ain't stressing, I'm still going hard. Got me two bands and two new bands, that's my whole name, work for check on that clear black car. Niggas in this black kid, niggas stress, you be whack with that tech, ain't no need to act hard. Only be grubbing. I don't remember using a hot comb on this install. I did. Okay, there you go. Oh, look at that hair, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, one thing about these installs, y'all, you're going to need you a good hot comb. Because that's what's going to lay everything down. Oh, I just love me a good fresh new wig, y'all. Oh my god. I need to get I need to order me another one of these. Cause this curly hair was definitely giving the girls exotic. Okay. Y'all, this pink wall about to change real soon. I'm gonna redecorate my whole beauty room. I'm deciding if I want to do a black wall, like a like a ash, like a ash gray, like black kind of, like an ashy black. Or, oh, that girl is fine as fuck. <laughs> but anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, or or just a pure white wall. So y'all comment below. Th tell me what y'all think I should do. Should I do black or should I do should I do white? Okay, let's get into these edges. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't feel like I personally have master edges the way that I would like to. I don't think I'm the perfect uh, edge girl, if that if that's the term for it. I don't know. But I feel like this is something that I want to, you know, work on more. Edges for me is always a hit or miss. Like, I don't always get it right the first time. But, you know, once you do your edges and you set them in, it's kind of like what you got to go with. So... It takes a lot of practice and I'm still working on that. And that's one thing about me. I'm always, I'm always confident enough to say like, okay, look, I know I'm not the best, but I'm going to be the best. <laughs> the goal is always to be the best of the best. So yeah, I feel like as I start doing my installs more and more and more, I'm really getting this edge thing down pat, but everybody started somewhere. So So I don't really have a way as to where I want to part this yet. So I'm really just making sure that I'm getting these edges right first. <laughs> My skin is just so flawless. It's shiny, it ain't dry. Usually my skin be so dry. See, we all learning together. And I'm about to tie it down again. This is just to make sure that my edges are laid. Because usually when you do edges and you try to lay it down with like whatever product that you use, the root of it is like going the opposite direction. So it's hard to get them to lay. 
So in order to make them look as natural and flat as possible, you have to lay them down. And I learned that the hard way. <laughs> One thing about this process is you cannot be lazy. And if you miss a step, it's just, it's not gonna come out the way that you want. So try to, you know, be patient, take your time. Now, I have to invest in a skinnier flat iron. I want I really want like the half inch one. Yeah, so I curled them upwards to get them to go the way that I want them to go. And y'all again, I'm not the best at edges. I do my best, but I'm not the best. <laughs> So that was just a little hairspray that I put on my fingers just to lay it down. Y'all, this takes me so much time, oh my God. So child, I don't know what I did, but I really should have tied it down again on this part, but that was another lesson I learned from doing edges. So I am finishing up right now. I'm just gonna put some shine on the top of it. Yeah. I did my edges off camera because it was taking too long and my batteries, well, my time on my camera's running out. But as you guys can see, this is the right side. This is the left side. And this is how it looks from the front. Down. So, hopefully, you know, this was a quick, you know, tutorial or... Not really a tutorial but just kind of like how i do my installs or whatever um i wish i could have got a little bit more detail but like i said i don't have a lot of time on my camera but for my edges all i used was some gossipy spray and um i used a really 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 thin fine tooth comb and i just pressed down with my finger and i followed the shape that i wanted my uh, baby hairs to be in and this is how they came out so but, alright girls, so I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's get a little closer look in this angle, from this angle. This is how it looks. I'll probably play with it a little more, just cause you know, whenever my edges set in, I wanna like make sure I comb them out right. Cause I don't like this side. I like this side better. But, that is all. I love the hair, super freaking soft and curly. You guys, West Kiss hair. And if y'all got any questions, let me know. I'll see y'all in my next video. Pretty girl, pretty girl game. Pretty girl, pretty girl game. If you wanna bet and don't get a bag, then you cannot sit with us. Let me say. Pretty girl, pretty girl.